My name is uh, Brian Aiken. I, um, I am the director of New Media at the Foundation for Economic Education. Prior to that, uh, New Media Entrepreneur started a few uh, new media companies and worked on things like iPhone apps and things like that. Um, was a grad student when, on January 2nd in 2009, I was essentially stopped, uh, illegally searched, illegally seized, uh, not Mirandized, uh, held against my will, um, and ultimately arrested for uh, legally possessing my firearms in New Jersey. This episode of Cop Block is brought to you by Freekeen.com. The, the past few years have, have been incredibly difficult, uh, not just financial hardships, but uh, as a result of the indictment, uh, I lost custody of my son. I haven't seen him in about two and a half years, uh, and that, that, wasn't, that wasn't a result of being found guilty or anything like that. Um, and I, I argued this to the judge, saying that uh, you know, I was being charged with a non-violent and victimless offense. It's at, at best an allegation. You know, there was there was no guilty verdict, uh, nothing of that sort. But uh, the state didn't seem to care, um, and they they revoked my custodial access to my son anyway, uh, who was only about a year and a half old at the time. During the the entire process, I was presented about a dozen opportunities to take a plea deal. Um, after about the fifth or sixth time, they gave me a, a form that's known as a plea cutoff form, and it means. Uh, this deal is as good as it's going to get, and it's never going to get that good ever again. The plea deal was a five-year sentence with a minimum of 12 months in prison, uh, for which I'd done nothing wrong. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking about uh, how if they've already taken custody of my son away from me, uh, how can I be the best example to him without being able to be involved in his, in his daily life? And uh, I, I thought that that is probably to stick up for what I believe in, uh, stand up for my rights, and, uh, and not to take a plea deal. So that very day when they offered me the plea deal and they, they said, this is a plea cutoff form, we're never giving you another plea offer, um, and they offered me two weeks to think about it, I signed it then and there and said, no thanks, I, I don't want to take a plea. Um, after that, after the plea cutoff form, I, they came back and offered me five or six additional plea deals all of which I turned down. Uh, and now we're in the, uh, the appeal stage because I was ultimately found guilty after uh, the, the biggest joke of a trial I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, the judge wouldn't allow the, the jury to do their job. Uh, the prosecutor before, six months before going to trial, uh, stated during a motion hearing that he knew what I was doing was legal because that he knew that I was moving between Mount Laurel and Hoboken, uh, which is the entire precipice of what happened here. The, the, what they were alleging is that I had illegally possessed firearms. And there's exemptions that allow for people to move from one residence to another with your firearms. And they did not want the exemptions uh, to be allowed into the court. So the judge would not allow the jury to know about the exemptions. They came back three times, which is very important, especially when you read the wording and how carefully the jury selected the words that they chose in, in requesting for the exemptions. And the judge outright refused to let them know. On December 20th, uh, after being handed down a seven-year sentence with a minimum of three years for a non-violent, victimless crime, uh, Governor Christie uh, issued an executive order commuting my sentence and uh, granting me clemency. Uh, I was released after spending four months in state prison on December 21st. And uh, right now we're in the middle of appealing uh, the conviction uh, which I believe we're going to be granted and the conviction is going to be overturned. We're also working on uh, what's known as a 42 U.S.C. 1983 case. It's a deprivation of civil rights claim against the representatives of the state that did this to me, that did this to my family, that did this to my son, and that continues to penalize me every day. I, I still can't see my son. I'm hoping that there's some severe repercussions uh, for the police officers um, and that other police departments and other prosecutors across the state of New Jersey kind of take notice of, of these repercussions that are coming to, to these people that did this to me and my family uh, so that they realize if you do this, if, if you willfully take away the right to live, 
and, and the right to individual liberty from innocent people, there will be severe repercussions. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.